What is going on guys? Dakota from Decalwell Photography and in today's video we're going to be shooting with some Lomography 800 film. Alright, got our first roll loaded up here. I'll probably be adjusting some settings as uh, we switch between the different rolls. We got a box of three for the 120. So we'll, um, I'll start off with 400 for my shutter speed, 11 for my aperture, and then of course I have it rated at a box speed of its native 800 right now. So after that, uh, we can play around with some of the other settings to see how uh, if we can overexpose it or what it looks like in other various conditions. So great day for pictures, y'all. Let's uh, get it started. Next thing, just like this. set the dial to 400 right now for the ISO as well as my aperture is at a f4 right now still at the same shutter speed of 1 over 400 of a second and we're going to see what type of images we can get with that I'm going to see how the colors on this Lomography 800 also renders next to kind of like a darker background you see the black um, black purplish black alley cat sign here First initial thoughts, uh, this film kind of delivers that punchy, saturated look, and I kind of dig that for a lot of the photos that you guys saw on the screen, uh, but I do see that it tends to adjust uh, to the situation that you're in, and meaning that is I shot next to a couple uh, murals, and uh, I had Tracy kind of line herself up against it, and her skin tones came out as a little like plum, the color of a plum, I thought, a little bit darker and a little bit more saturated than I would have liked, uh, the reds kind of stood out more um but overall i think they were cool looking you know it's just that i'm not really rocking with some of the skin tones that came from some of it and maybe it was my settings so i'm just gonna have to maybe adjust better actually use a light meter next time and see uh what the images uh look like that way but i was really happy with the results that i was getting i know the iso 800 film is pretty versatile you know it's usually used for more of the low light situations but that doesn't mean that you can't use it during the day it was about maybe whew, seven o'clock in the morning, I think it was on this shoot. And we were out right when the sun was kind of golden beaming down. I just wanted to test it out and just see what type of images I can get with it. Again, I'm super new into the film journey. So we're gonna be using a lot of different film stock uh, just to see which fits more of my style and 
how I can evolve and adapt from that point. I'm actually really interested to see how this film holds up against stuff like uh, Kodak 800 or Cine Steel 800T, uh, but maybe that'll be an upcoming video that I'll do. We'll see. But for now, overall, I enjoyed shooting Lomography. I actually, after this shoot, went and bought about three more boxes just because uh, I was really impressed with how it kind of turned out and how it rendered most of the skin tones, uh, how the colors were. I think I maybe overexposed a few of the shots, uh, meaning that, you know, I couldn't really get like that cool background inside of it. But I'll take this on a street photography journey coming up real soon and really shoot some um, some images at like a higher aperture, maybe 16, uh, 22 or so to really capture more of that like beautiful background on like a sunny, awesome day. A couple of my favorite photos from this shoot, I like the one of her leaning up against the wall here. Uh, it kind of mimicked like that old 90s like artistic look when you're using like direct flash on a photo. It's like that party, that party vibe looking. You know, um, I've seen a bunch of photos online like that. I wasn't actually trying to recreate anything. It's just cool that it turned out like that. Um, I also like the colors of the flowers from this one where she bent over and she was sniffing the uh, flowers on this picture too. I like her skin tone, uh, the colors of the like pink and white from and the greens from those flowers right there. Um, I really like how this film stock renders those colors too. I thought that was really nice. And then too, uh, some of these other ones where the sun is kind of just, you know, beaming over a little bit and using maybe like a Cine Bloom filter. I had the 5% on my 110 at the time. Uh, it really like gave that hazy, like glow effect to the images that I really enjoy. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section about the different type of film stocks that you shoot with, preferably the ISO 800 uh, kind because there's not a lot that I see. I mean, I know of the Lomography 800, I know of the Kodak uh, Portrait 800 and then the Sydney Seal 800T. So I'm not sure if there's any other ones out there. I have a bunch of all of those in my fridge right now. So we probably will do an upcoming video comparing the three, but you guys let me know which one you shoot with. If you shoot with 800, um, ISO film at all and uh, you know what you thought of the pictures from the shoot. Thank you again for watching I appreciate you guys as always make sure you hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed the video as well as click that subscribe button So you don't miss any upcoming content and give me a follow over on Instagram at decobo photography. Thanks again I'll catch you on the next one. Peace